After 47 years of not knowing what happened to their loved one, an Oregon family has finally has some answers. Isla Wilkins went missing in Clackamas County in 1976, but just this month, DNA technology helped identify her remains. Daisy Caballero shows us how some innovative technology solved a decades old mystery. Ella Wilkins is accounted for now. And that's one of the things that makes me proud to be a part of these types of cases. Dr. Nikki Vance is the state forensics anthropologist who helped the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office identify remains of a skull found outside Sandy, Oregon in August of 81. At the time, there was no DNA analysis technology. It was only noted the skull probably belonged to an older female who lost all her teeth and likely wore dentures. That's when detectives recalled an elderly woman who had memory issues disappeared from her nursery home five years prior near where the skull was found. But had no way of confirming it was Miss Wilkins. When I became the state forensic anthropologist, I started going through all of our skeletal remains cases that we had, reanalyzing them and trying to find new innovative ways to hopefully identify them at that point. But when it came to Miss Wilkins case, Dr. Vance immediately recognized it and thought, why not use innovative DNA technology called investigative genetic genealogy? And we had done forensic DNA analysis on the bones already. We had uploaded that DNA profile into the national DNA database, and it had been searching against family reference standards, missing person standards, all of these items in these profiles, but it never associated genetically with any other profiles. Genetic genealogy helps identify an unknown person by looking for relatives in databases and family trees. And because it was well known there was a missing person in the area that matched the physical characteristics, Dr. Vance had a name to give them. And that's what happened. We found a family that it could be narrowed down to. We found grandparents, great grandparents um, and some common ancestors to this individual and then really worked from there to determine an investigative lead. The medical examiner's office reached out to Miss Wilkins' granddaughter for a DNA sample. The test revealed a 100% probability that Miss Wilkins was genetically associated with her granddaughter. Miss Wilkins was positively ID'd by the Oregon Chief Medical Examiner on April 4th of this year. And so it really is a game changer to use this technology uh, and put it to such good use, such valuable use, uh, especially to those grieving families who still have questions and need answers. Daisy Caballero, KGW News.